Mr. Speaker, the previous bill, which will be repealed, the Petroleum Exploration and Production Act, included an entire section on the administration of that act, whereby public officers or employees at GGMC could have been designated as the chief inspectors and inspectors for administration of the petroleum sector, sir. That was the bill that we passed in 19, this is passed in 1986. That has all been removed. Absolutely nothing on the administration of, the, of this sector in this bill, other than the minister, the newly anointed king and emperor over all things petroleum in this country. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, <laughs> permit me, permit me, sir, to highlight some additional areas where this proposed bill com is completely silent. Not a single word on the preservation of our indigenous, our Amerindian lands and their enshrined right to free, prior, informed, and informed consent. Not a single word, sir. In fact, sir, the words Amerindian or indigenous don't even appear even once in this bill, sir. One would have expected that with the challenges facing our Amerindian brothers and sisters in Chinese landing and the damned in report and recommendations of the IC, IACHR, that this government would acknowledge that there that where there will be conflicts between mining activities and indigenous communities, and at least have the minimum respect for our first people by affording them the opportunity of some sort of consultation and consent. The gov this government, this is a government, sir, that claims it respects the indigenous communities, yet brings bills to this assembly which excludes them. Sir, you're right, sir. Sir, I'm sure my colleague Vincent Henry will bring you the sentiments of the indigenous peoples on this disrespect, sir. Sir, 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 I, sir I, I, and, and you see, sir, that's some of the nim, uh, the nim, <laughs> sir, sir, that's some of the simplistic explanations that we would get and I would expect from the colleagues over there, sir. Sir, they think we're making a petroleum activities bill for offshore only. Uh, sir, this is petroleum activities for the entire country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there, sir, there will be, there will be at some point in time, I have no doubt, sir, onshore discoveries. Yes. Sir, so you have to, and, you, and if you come here, sir, you start from scratch, you have to take all of that in account. Sir, the AG's comment is just simplistic at the best. Sir, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, well, you can ask yourself that. Mr. Speaker, nowhere in this bill, I mean, the minister mentioned it, but nowhere in this bill mentions anything about labor and local content. Guyanese would have expected a caring government to ensure that enshrined in this bill with a section reinforcing our drive for labor, the local content in the application and approval process for petroleum licenses. The section on training, sir, does not even require the licensees to adhere to our, to our labor and local contact acts and laws. 